so far to Harbor Wolf. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our sand. Ah, the Himawari 8. The Japanese owned and operated geostationary weather satellite that is the ultimate bane of the space is fake and Earth is flat crowds. Every 10 minutes for the last 5 years, it has taken a full photograph of the planet Earth from nearly 36,000 kilometers away. Not only that, but it does all of this without any input whatsoever from NASA, allowing us to provide evidence from outside of the entity that flurfs and space deniers so vehemently despise. So, of course the Himawari is fake, right? Let's take a look at someone who thinks so, and see if they can provide any actual evidence for their claim. Am I the only person who finds it funny that, despite actively protesting US government entities like NASA, flirts also love to cite US law to protect themselves? Just a thought. Hey guys, Paul on the Plane back here with you. Welcome to Episode 2 of Faking Space, now in our second season. Today we're going to focus on the Himawari Geostationary Satellite, which we're told is something like a mind-boggling 22,000 miles away from the Earth, sending us a real picture every 10 minutes. Yes, yes it is. Only mind-boggling to you, buddy. Did you know the Himawari um, ironically means sunflower? So, yeah, there's proof of the heliocentric sun worshippers model right there. Uh, anytime someone talks about the sun, it's obviously about cult beliefs. Do you happen to remember the Fukushima disaster in Japan in 2011? Well, in the aftermath, it was discovered that sunflowers were able to soak up radiation much better than other plants. They were planted en masse by Buddhist monks led by Koyu Abe, and as a result, sunflowers became a symbol of hope and faith restored to Japan, helping the citizens move on to a better tomorrow, and that's why they named it the Himawari. It helps to look outside of the bubble that is the 4% of the world population represented by the United States. So why are we picking on the Himawari today? Well, defenders of the heliocentric model love to point to the quote-unquote almost real-time images from the Himawari as proof of a globular Earth, since it allegedly gives us a picture every 10 minutes, and the weather uh, data seems to be, you know, pretty current. Well, unfortunately for the ballers, we're going to debunk that completely here, simply in the next five minutes, and show you how they fake it all. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's cut right to the smoking gun to start. Here uh, is the website anyone can go to and see this all for themselves. On a side note, the Himawari is operated by the Japanese Meteorological Space Agency and brought to us by the NOAA, the National Oce Oceanic and Atmospheric Administrations. No, it's not. It has no association with the National Atmospheric and Oceanic Administration. It's brought to you by the JMA, the Japanese Equivalent Agency. Contrary to popular beliefs, all governments do not always listen to or work with one another. Goes geostationary satellite server, and I'll include the links here for all this stuff in the video description, so you can check it out right now if you want. Okay, so when you're at the FTP site, click here for the site description, so when you do, a text file comes up, and you can see right here, they tell you that all of the images in the archive use the underlying colored land images from the NASA Blue Marble dataset. Yep. Wait, all the images in what archive? The GOES archive? What is GOES, Paul? GOES is their own series of weather satellites launched by NASA and owned by NOAA. Nothing to do with JAXA, the Himawari, or the JMA. So Paul has already immediately failed. Not that he would actually know what a data set is anyway, he probably assumes it's a folder with one cutout image of the Earth made to be pasted wherever you need it. Never mind the fact that all of NASA's blue marble images focus on the Americas, while the Himawari, you guessed it, it's pointed at Japan. Well, except for the very first blue marble, which doesn't have a data set because it is a singular photograph that was taken on film and developed in a dark room. So, now that he's fallen on his face, let's watch him try to pick himself back up. So the Himawari is actually completely, totally debunked right there. These aren't real pictures coming from a satellite in a geostationary orbit above the Earth getting snapped every 10 minutes and being beamed down for us to all ooh and ah over. They take the blue marble data, uh, data set, which I'm sure you remember, they admitted years ago was a flat strip data pieced together uh, by an artist named Rob Simon in Photoshop because it had to be, <laughs> right? 
but to move on and then to just briefly show you how they generate a picture every 10 minutes with what appears to be accurate and current weather. This is basically what they do. Now, don't take my word for it. As I always say, go check it out for yourself. Number one, they have already created and stored transparent images of the weather over the oceans using climate simulation software, which they openly admit right here that they've done climate simulations up to the year 2095, but it's actually the year 2100 on this FTP server folder, and here is one of the images. The description with the date until part is probably five years old, so that explains the inconsistency. Second, weather predictions made with simulations are not always accurate. The same simulations are used by weather reporting agencies around the world who routinely get things wrong because weather has a tendency to be unpredictable. So Paul, what do they do with this image that's probably mired with inaccuracies and subject to change before its date passes? And following some of the other images uh, that you can find where the land masses are transparent and they use all this simulation software to come up with the weather over the oceans. You know, since our weather data comes from our ground-based Doppler radar. That's a weather prediction map? Really? You know, I thought something about this looked fishy. And I remembered another excellent creator, Blue Earth Thing, check out his channel in the description below, doing a debunk of this same thing. Let's see what he had to say. And following some of the other images uh, that you can find where the land masses are transparent and they use all this simulation software to come up with the weather over the oceans. How? Absolutely how? If you notice something, there's no clouds in any of that prediction. You can go to the website yourself, look at all the images, you never see clouds. In fact, they actually go year by year because you don't understand what they even are. What those images are is temperature. That is temperature predictions for the future, not cloud cover, not weather. You know, since our weather data comes from our ground-based Doppler radar, and it's impossible to use ground-based systems to cover the entire vast oceans. Yet these images that you are trying to debunk have perfect accuracy on where the cloud cover is currently. Thank you for proving the globe Earth. So that's where the weather over the oceans comes from, their software simulations. Number two, now for the weather over the land, the NOAA has supercomputers that take data coming in from all over the world, Doppler radar feeds, and crunch it all together and combine it with the weather simulation data over the ocean, so they come up with a complete composite <laughs> uh, weather quote-unquote map. The Doppler radar does not show clouds. In fact, it only really shows rain and pressure changes, but it does not show cloud cover. There are times when you can go out when you have a fairly cloudy day, and if you go check your Doppler radar, there is no green or red spots on it in your area. I think he's about summed it up. He's making vast assumptions about unpredictable weather predicted by unreliable machines that are all owned and operated by the USA to come to a conclusion about a Japanese weather satellite. So, then what we get are composite images like this that are created in the 3D modeling software. The current Doppler weather uh, data over land and the simulated weather over the oceans and it looks like this. So this particular image is on the FTP server and is date and time stamped with October 11th, 2017 at 11.05am. I just chose one randomly. Notice the image shows you the weather for the whole ball and not just part of the ball that is lit by the sun at this particular time. No terminator line or anything like that right okay now here's the kicker go to the other file folder which is the images that we get to see and are told are real pictures from space but what they've simply done is taken the weather map picture of the whole ball they created and they superimpose it over the blue marble data set just like they said they did except that's not a weather map you claim that's where they got the data and never proved it and then get this you took the raw image from the Himawari that uses light not visible to the human eye and compared it to the adjusted image from the same satellite. None of that involved NOAA or GOES. That was all from Himawari. Good job. You proved that two images of the exact same thing at the exact same time from the exact same place look exactly the same. Fucking genius. So what you can see here is the final version of what we're spoon-fed and told is a picture taken by the Himawari from space like, you know, 10 minutes ago. This is the image from the same date and time, October 11th, 2017 at 11.05 a.m. And you can see that the weather is exactly the same. Watch it closely. 
There's your weather map comprised of simulated and Doppler radar being used to complete a composite image. They do this with the Discover satellite too, the epic camera from a million miles away, they tell us. Ridiculous. Okay. Oh, that weather data? The data you got from a satellite in space disproves a satellite in space? Okie dokie. Now, also notice the uh, final image has a Terminator line added in to try to make it look like a real picture from space, which drives a nail in the coffin of the Himomori because the weather data shows it over the whole ball completely. But they have to add a Terminator line to show the Earth only par partially lit uh, by the sun based on the time of day that the photo is allegedly taken. So if this is a real picture, how did they know where to put the clouds and weather on the part of the globe with no sunlight? It's completely dark there. It's all right here, guys. They are faking space. Hey, we all fell for it for a long time with their Doppler radar and weather simulation software building a current weather picture and wrapping it around a ball in 3D software and pasting it onto a black background like they do with all the others, adding a Terminator line and calling it a real picture from space. Himawari debunked once and for all. This has been Paul on the Plane. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that's enough of that. Good job not proving anything, buddy. You made a bunch of speculation, then compared two photos from the same source and declared victory. As usual, the space denier method of finding the truth is lazy, incomplete, and lacking any true critical thinking. What a surprise. Grass, still green. Space, still real. Conspiracists, still idiots. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. If you want to support me further, consider becoming a member, or a patron, or checking out my merch, or my Amazon links. Thank you, and I will see you over the curve, Space Cowboys. In a vast cosmic arena. Our imagined self-importance the delusion that we have some...